This is a brief look at some sloping techniques for floors. The first one up is using a slope arrow. When we edit the boundary of a floor slab, we can see I've applied a slope arrow from one grid to the next. When we look at its properties, we can see that I've set its height at tail and its height at head with a one foot offset. We can also use a fixed slope value, but it would slope from tail to head by that specified value. For item two, we're just specifying that one edge of the slab is sloping and in this case it's one inch equals or over 12 so it's very simple you just set one edge and then off you go for slope 3 what we're looking at is two edges that are parallel the first edge we set a value of an offset of 0 and we check the defined constant height and then we grab the other parallel edge and we set an offset and the slope is 0 to 6 inches over that span the fourth one, which isn't identified with a number on screen, is just using modify sub-elements and have placed a point at the center of the slab and dropped it by two inches, negative two inches, and then we get a slab depression. So here's what the whole thing looks like in 3D. We've got the overall slab and then we have the other three slope, each sloped in their own way. Now this um, roof, well, floor slab sitting on top of the steel anyway, it's not really a roof in this case, I've dropped the steel column down uh, a little bit farther so you can see that the steel is sloping. And then I'm going to use the boundary, uh, edit the boundary of the floor slab in order to remove the cantilever value that I put in here. I find that if you're going to change sloping steel and then want the slab to follow it, that you have to reset this cantilever otherwise it t tends to distort the surface. But in this case, and now I can use the pick supports function for uh, the sub-elements, and I can pick those two beams, and the floor slab will adjust according to the new slope. So it's pretty simple, really, once you get the, the basic form defined. Now I can go back in and edit these uh, outer sketch lines uh, and give it a positive 8 inches. Now the other lines, uh, because of the direction I created them, or created the beams originally, I have to put in a negative 8, so you have to be careful about which value you enter. Uh, sometimes the cantilever goes in instead of out, but now you can see I've got the floor slab extending out beyond the steel. Hope that helps.